and uh, yeah, sorry about that, but uh, you know, that's just the way it is sometimes. Um, I might have to try to put you on the stand here uh, because I'm working off the ground like this can be a little tedious. So I might have to just put you on that stand. Uh, let's see if you let's see if it holds. Just to give me something to I don't have to get down on the ground too too far. So let's see uh, how heavy you are. And yeah, you are heavy. You are heavy. <clears throat> and big. Oh yeah. Yeah, this 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 is uh, big and heavy. That's all I gotta say. It's big and very heavy. Not just compared to the 10-inch miter saw. I'm just saying. so. It's I'm just gonna have to be careful because it it does tip back. It will tip back because it's it is heavier. I'll tell you that much. Let me bring the lighting over here a little bit so I. So everyone can can see here. So so let's get that 45 and see what I can do with it. Bring a little flashlight as well. Okay. So let's see here. Okay. Loosen that so I can get that degree down. There we go. It's going to stop at 45. Good. So at this point, I think all I have to do is just make sure that it's at 45. And uh, I'm just going to follow the fence. Make sure I don't touch the teeth or anything. Just get onto the blade. that but okay it's slightly off slightly off Slightly off, ever so slightly. Um, let's try to get a larger triangle to slide in there. Okay. Yeah, slightly off. Okay. So it's slightly off on the 45 on this side, which. Uh, that's gonna make a that's gonna make a difference. Um, that that is gonna make a difference. So I'm gonna have to come in here somewhere and uh, I'm gonna probably have to make that adjustment right here on this side. So I probably have to adjust it, but the question is. Uh, I have to get under there somehow. Um, I think it came with the hex wrench. What do you know? Uh, came with something like this, so you can adjust it. So you don't actually even have to have tools. It, it, it came with the tools with it. So that just worked out really wonderful. So I think I'll be able to just go in here and just. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Let me see if uh how it how it goes. If I turn slightly to the right, what would happen? 
Sorry, we throw that. Oh, okay. That, that uh, seems like it, loose, it would loosen it. Figure out how this works out that way. Obviously, there's something here. Uh. Okay, that just looks like it just pushes it. By turning this, it just barely. Loosens the bolt as well. Interesting. Okay. All right. Let's have some fun with this one. I hope you're all ready. Okay. So, let's see what it does. Let's see if it did anything. Didn't do, didn't do anything. Sorry if you're not seeing this, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna need my, both my hands here. I wonder if I messed it up. I might have messed it up. 
but that's all right. This one says it's okay. It's on the higher side. It's slightly off. And, uh, Adjusted going this way. Because the way they're positioned, it just, there's just no way you can. Maybe they're meant to be pulled instead of pushed. I think I got it. All right. So I was adjusting the wrong side. All right, you got to adjust this side because the screw here, this screw here, if you can see that, is going to be pushed in or unscrewed, depending how you look at it, uh, to adjust the 45 here. So that's, I mean, that's got to be it. That's the only thing I can, I can be explained on how it works otherwise this doesn't make any sense so <clears throat> problem is there's that bolt there's that nut here preventing it from going in any further I, I have a sneaky suspension we're gonna have to uh, loosen that or tighten it and that's gonna help uh, keep it in place so, let's have a look here. I slightly tightened it a little bit to close that gap in. Uh, yeah, it's working out way better. needs to be just a little bit more so um, yep gonna have to because uh, the good news is I got this set of wrench so it's gonna it's gonna work out just fine it should should be able to work out just fine let me see what do I think it is it's probably metric because uh, uh, just because because internationally you know everyone's on the metric system Okay. So let's just put that right. Put that right here. And let's try to figure out uh, maybe a 15. No, 15 is too big. 12. Could it be 12. Twelve is too small. 
I might, could be 13. 13. 13 it is. Oh. Okay, so I just have to loosen it. So I'm loosening it, and then that will allow me to tighten this. Okay. Now let me see if that... Oh, I know it's 13. We could just set this aside somewhere. I'll just set it aside somewhere right here. Man, I can't wait to get that table installed and my shelving done. Jeez. So, it's a little bit harder because it's a, uh, you have to work with that uh, bolt, that nut going in there. Okay, that, according to this, it says it's right on. But let's see the longer, longer angle here. What's it telling me? Okay. All right, I think this is way better. Okay. Could be a little too much. Let me back off on it a little bit. That's perfect. That is, that is, uh, uh, I think that's spot on. I just got to tighten this. Uh, I just got to tighten it, keep it in place. So the nut actually will keep this hex screw in place. Okay. There we go. There we go. So it just doesn't, it won't move any more or less on that part. Let me double check it, see if I make sure I didn't move it. This is probably the only drawback of on, on this on this one is that it's yeah yeah that's good that is really good okay that's set up right all right so we got that set up let's uh let's go ahead and put this down. And tilt it to the other side. And do the same with that. Do the same with this. So do the same thing on this side now. So I've kind of already messed around with it. So let's see what I did. Let's see what I did. How bad did I screw this up? Actually, no, that's pretty good. It's really good. I don't know if you see that. That is really good on this side. Okay. So on this side, it's it's actually perfect. Okay. Probably didn't even move it at all. Okay, so this side, this side, on this side of the fence, uh, based on this straight angle here. You can see it's not even really that straight, but on this side, it's a good 45. I just have to deal with it. 
So, anyways, uh, okay. So it's that good. Let's just test it going in the middle again. I wonder how I'm going to deal with that, but that's might be another story. I just have to deal with. Oh. This is what I'm going to have to do. All right. Um, there's a little play in here because, uh, mainly because of of this gadget right here. Uh, this guy. It's, you're just going to have some wiggle room um, to have it to zero. But it looks like if if I just go ahead and just push it as much as I can all the way to the right. That it's lined up to zero. Because, you know, you just might have to just take your square every time to do this too. That might be another thing that that is just going to have to be done. Just have to take your square and line it up, and then tighten it at that point to get your zero. That's the nature of a double bevel, I guess. There we go. Yeah, that's good. That's that's good. That's really good right there. Um, I'm going to take my square and uh, check it. The only thing I don't like about this, this this particular square is that the, it's so short on this side, um, and you're getting just that small, just that small narrow spot right there. But you know, hey, okay. yeah, that's that's good. That's good. And if you really want to check it, you can just go ahead and put this level up here. Have it just go all the way through because the bottom's straight. The top should be straight. And uh, now, now you can really check it. You can really check the whole whole thing. See how straight it really is. And I'm not sure if you're able to see that or not, but if you haven't been, I'm, I apologize. Okay. Let's see if it I see a barely a narrow gap on the bottom of this. You can see right here, towards the bottom, right along here, that there's a narrow gap in there. And I'm going to see what I can do to compensate for that, how far, how much further I need to push, push it. And I guess this is something you might, you're going to have to just do. Okay. Uh, this could be the adjustment right here. And um, after all, you, when you get a board, you're gonna feed it. You're gonna feed it, of course. You're gonna feed it uh, going this way, but you're gonna feed the whole thing, where it just comes across like this. So that's kind of why I'm using this to, because it, supposedly, if it's well, if the board is level and straight. Um, that's kind of what you're working with, like this. 
So that's why I'm trying to get it leveled straight up that way, which anyways could affect the way I get my 45 too. But let me see if this hex wrench fits in here. If it does, that'd be awesome. And of course it does not. I may have to turn that a little bit, but uh, let's see if this is also a 13 here. I don't know if you're able to see that. Yeah, this is a 13. Okay. So I'm just going to have to play around with that a little bit. Because after all, you pay a lot of money for this thing, you sure want it to cut straight. So, that's, that's kind of just my point. So, of course, if I could, let me see if I could just, all it takes is just to, just to loosen this, and then uh, get it done. Sorry if you're not able to see this. I'm just going to have to, I really need my two, both hands on this. If this is the case, you may have to just do this every time to line it up to zero. I'm I'm really splitting hairs, but I'll it's it's good it's it's good I'm just splitting hairs. Um, I, I'll, I'm gonna have to get that just slightly adjusted, just slightly adjusted. Um, man, just just a hair, but uh, yeah, I'm splitting hairs is what I'm doing, but it's it's good. Ooh, it it is good. Um, I have to admit I am I'm impressed out of the box, um, how really accurate it it is. Um, all the features, um, you get a tool, which is nice. Um, so, uh, my rating on this is super duper excellent. Uh, go ahead and spend that extra money in, in getting it. Um, if you got the 10 inch, that's, that's fine. 